hello. So today I want to talk about the seven wonders of communication, also known as the seven C's of communication. I got a couple of questions for you. Are you sure you are communicating effectively? Are you using the seven wonders of communication? Do you even know what the seven wonders of communication are? Well, if you are not familiar with them, if you are not using them, then you may not be communicating effectively. Oh my god! What is effective communication? Hmm. In a simple way, we could say that effective communication is the passing of information and understanding from one person's brain to another person's brain with the least amount of interferences possible. Wonder of communication, number one. I'm talking about clarity. You have to be clear about the goal of your message. So you have to start a conversation with a clear goal or purpose. And whatever you say, whatever you communicate, it has to be aimed towards that, that purpose or that goal. Think about presenting one idea at a time. That way, things will be easier to understand for the recipient. So that is wonder of communication number one. Clarity. Be clear. What about wonder of communication number two? Conciseness. Keep to the point. Keep it short and keep it simple. Conciseness. Be concise. Do not use unnecessary words or sentences. Instead of using 10 words, Try to see if you can use four or five. And instead of making very long, complex and complicated sentences, make simple sentences or not so long sentences. Concise versus complicated. We should reduce costs. To optimize our financial performance and ensure long-term sustainability, we must implement cost reduction measures, focusing on streamlining operations and renegotiating supplier contracts to achieve significant savings across all departments. Please send a report by Friday, right? In order to maintain our project timelines and ensure all stakeholders have the necessary information for the upcoming review, kindly ensure that the completed report is finalized and submitted not later than Friday, please. Instead of using 10 sentences, try to use 5 or 3. That's not an easy task, and that requires planning and practice. And please, do not repeat the same idea in different ways. It's a bit patronizing. People can understand you the first time. Yeah, okay, yeah, I see your point, but I'm looking at the reports and we should enhance the quality of our customer service. It is necessary to upgrade our customers' support efforts. You know, we must, we must work on making our customer service better. End of the story, otherwise this is not going to work. Wonder of communication number three is concreteness. 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 What is this about? You have to communicate with precision and clarity. Provide sufficient detail to convey your message in an effective way and without overwhelming the recipient with unnecessary information. Ensure that the message is factual. And it says here, avoid cluttering your main points, avoid cluttering your main points with extraneous information. What is extraneous information? Well, that is information that is not directly connected or related to the topic that you are talking about. This is going to obscure the message. And please, Make sure that your key points and your conclusions are unmistakably clear to the recipient. What about wonder of communication? 
Number four, correctness. Correctness. You need to verify the accuracy of the information that you're sharing. Your written and spoken English have to be free from grammatical and spelling errors. You need to confirm that the technical aspects of your message are clearly conveyed and the recipient has understood them. Don't be too technical, otherwise people might not understand what you're talking about. You might be very familiar with some terminology, but is that suitable for your audience? Think about that. Preparation is key. If you are giving a presentation, for example, or you are going to be attending a meeting or having a one-to-one -one with your boss, preparation is going to be key. So give yourself the chance to proofread what you write because what you write is what you are going to talk about. Remember, if you write and organize your ideas, you structure your ideas, you give it a framework, your spoken communication will be a lot more clear. Wonder number five of communication is coherency or coherence. Your message needs to flow smoothly. You need to transition from one idea to another smoothly. Whatever ideas you mention, they all need to be connected in some way. Do not divert from the main topic or talk about unnecessary things that are going to clutter and confuse your listener. You also need to maintain a consistent tone throughout your speech or your message or conversation. The most important thing is that you need to use a structured or a framework to organize your ideas, follow a timeline, have an introduction, a main point, a conclusion, try to answer to the questions what, what, uh, where, how, when, why. These are the main blocks of information that people need to know about because they clarify and they give us enough information for us to be clear on the message being transmitted. Number six, wonder number six of communication is completeness. Completeness. Finish your sentences, okay? Do not leave your sentences halfway through. And you need to make sure that your recipient has all the necessary information so they can make the right decision in case they are requested to take any action. So is the call to action clear in your message? CTA, call to action. There must be a call to action in your communication and that needs to be crystal clear. So how can you follow up or how can you ensure that the call to action or the message has gone through? Well, you could use some follow-up questions. If you want to know more about questions and different types of questions, you can check that video over there. All the specific details need to be explicit and therefore comprehensive, so your audience is not left wondering and confused. And finally, we got wonder of communication number seven. That one is courtesy. You have to be courteous. You have to be polite, friendly, professional, open and honest. You need to think about your message from the recipient's point of view. And you need to be empathetic towards their needs. Those are the seven wonders of communication. They are also known, or they are typically known, as the seven seas of communication. You need to keep them in mind. Obviously, you might not remember all of them while you speak. But I guarantee you, if you practice and you practice them one at a time, little by little, your communication will be more effective. Bye!